Uh, before I begin, uh, trigger warning, suicide, self-harm. Uh, my name is Matt Miner. I'm a junior from Scott Catholic, and this is called Playing Suicide Hotline. One, I never thought the first time I asked out a girl would be over Facebook, or that it'd be preceded by your contemplation of suicide. Two, I was showing you a reason to keep going, but you were so eager to paint your forearm in shades of red much darker than your sunset hair. If I was going to keep you here on Earth, I had to promise you the moon. Three, I never saw it as a chore, and I never thought badly of you for it, but seeing me fail and seeing you cry and seeing the cuts that had just begun to scar be open once more. And while you cut at your skin, I cut at my soul. I took onto my shoulders the lashes of self-hatred you sent out at yourself. You didn't know that you were maiming me. How many times did I just want to walk out and quit and leave you? But one question always came back to me. What's my happiness to your life? So I kept on playing suicide hotline. Four, I found myself looking just a little too long at the pills in the pantry. We were fighting a war and I didn't know how deeply you wanted to be run through by reality. Five, you never asked. Not about my day, not how I felt, not why I was so taciturn. You were too concerned with what your ex-boyfriend Nate was up to, too busy boasting about how Aaron was just the sweetest guy and that he was taking you to a dance next week. You didn't ask why I'd become so skinny or why I now had bags under my eyes. You would have known that food now tasted like ash. And I could no longer bear to watch your corpse swing back and forth at the end of a rope in my nightmares. Six, I loved you. I promise I did. Seven, I told you when I was a boy, I wanted to have big white angel wings. I wanted to fly high and feel the sun on my back and the wind on my face, and I know that that's never going to happen. But I can get close. I can go for a nice stroll up to the rooftop of a 10-story building, hold my toes off the edge, stretch my arms straight out, and jump. And if I close my eyes, maybe just for a second, I can fly. And baby, that rooftop is looking awfully appetizing right now. And do you remember what you said to me? I don't see why you think I should care. And the world stopped. We were circling the drain like the blood and water once circled yours, like I now wanted to circle mine. For two years, I untied the noose from your neck and calmly watched as you fastened it to me. I have given these years to you. I cannot give you my life. In the same basement where I first told you that I loved you, it began, baby, we need to talk. And the suicide hotline cut out, and only the dial tone was left to console us.